Hello, it's David at successblogs.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show you how to find keywords for your chosen niche. Okay, so we've already chosen the, the niche that we're going to go for and uh, in this case it's um, the hot niche which is ebook readers. That's very popular at the moment and uh, so we'll have a look at that. So we're going to use Google Keyword Tool and uh, we're going to enter the keywords ebook reader which I've already done here and then we do search okay then that, that will bring us the the results here okay now what we're looking for is we're looking in the low in this competition we're looking for low competition but with a good search volume okay so if we scroll down the page this is what we're looking for is low competition okay these are all high competition so it's obviously a, a very competitive area let's have a look we've got there we go. There's, there, now they're coming up. Okay, so we've got PSP Book Reader that's got low competition and 2,900 searches. And what else have we got here? So we could certainly use that as a, as a post and also um, include it in our, our keyword phrases PSP Book Ebook Reader. Okay, so all these phrases, the, the ones that have low um, competition and good volume, just write them down, make a note of them because you want, you want to use them again. There's another one here, Microsoft ebook reader, low competition and a good search volume. There's still plenty of searches for it. And what else have we got? Mobile ebook reader. We could just go on basically. All we're looking for are the phrases which have low competition and a good search volume. Okay, so mobile ebook reader, that's popular. Why not? Mobiles are popular and uh, the ebook reader is popular. So um, let's have a look. So what we do here we look at the competition we see it's got low competition and it's got a healthy search volume okay so let's um, have a look at what Google have to say so we just click on the link itself and that will take us to the actual um, search pages for the term okay here it is mobile ebook reader it's got seven million five hundred and sixty thousand results that's too many but that's for each word. Don't forget that's for mobile. These are searches that include the word mobile, ebook, and reader. We're after the phrase mobile ebook reader because that's going to be, for instance, one of the titles of our posts. So we're going to put that in quotation marks, mobile ebook reader, and see what we come there. Okay, that's better. We've now got 25,300 results. It gives us a good chance of being on um, on the front pages, but. Uh, it's going to take it's going to take a bit of work so we need to improve our phrase here and this is how we do it so basically we would um, try different words so for instance best mobile for instance, best mobile ebook reader that's better now we've got 3750 results again this is now um, the competition is much less because it's only 3750 and we would be in there with one of those what we do is we could have a look to see um, what sort of things are coming up with best mobile ebook readers okay best mobile ebook reader mm, okay best mobile ebook reader okay it's quite a, a lot of them are using it here as we can see on their um, page titles okay but there is only three pages, which is okay. Page two, best mobile ebook reader. Okay, if there's only three pages, then we need to be in there. Okay, it's as simple as that. I mean, the you can't get much better than that. You've got best mobile ebook reader, and the competition is virtually two pages, two or three pages of it. Okay, well, that says 3,750 results. Uh, when you actually do start searching, there we go. There, there isn't that much. So, a lot of it will be repeated results. So, this would be a, a phrase. You could even call it the title of, um, of the blog if you wanted to. But using that keyword phrase for your niche will certainly get you on the. Um, front page of Google I can't see uh, why, why it wouldn't do that so best mobile ebook reader there you go there's a, a niche for you and um, a top top
keyword phrase it's a long tail keyword phrase but as as you can see that will get you onto certainly should get you onto that page of Google okay I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I uh, hope to see you again